In this video, we're going to create an Intune Win file, the uh, sort of a package with all our files bundled that we will upload later to Intune Portal. And in previous videos, we downloaded this uh, Win Microsoft Win32 content prep tool, as seen here. And we also created one for Google Chrome in the previous video, an Intune Win file by just execute the executable, this one here, intunewinapputil.exe. In this video, we're going to do the similar, but we're going to do it as a one-liner. We're going to run it with the arguments. So let's do an um, Intune Win file of our other package, the um, uh, Google, no, Mozilla Firefox. So let's go to the source files there, or actually not source file, the package files. So here we have, so we already created for Google Chrome, we have the output, here we have our Intune uh, Win file for Google Chrome. Now let's do the same for Mozilla Firefox, so we don't have anything in output, but this time we're going to do it in one command line. So in this folder where we have this one here, let's do our favorite Alt F, Let's open a PowerShell. We can open a normal. We definitely don't have to be admin to run this. So if we do a dir this time, we see our file here. So if we do dot backslash intune app. So this one first, it wants uh, four arguments, but we're just going to give it three arguments because the last one is the catalog and that's only used for Windows 10 S, the security version, which we, which I never seen. Uh, so do a dash C, and for that it wants the source. And C, I would guess S for source, but the second parameter is dash S, which is um, the script. So to get the source, we can shift right click on the source folder and then copy as path. So let's go back here, paste that. Then the next parameter is S, that's the actual script. So let's go into the source folder if you have an MSI file, you can choose that. You can choose the XD file too. I actually will choose the CMD file because then I get a lot of the name uh, later. So we do, I do a fake rename F2, control A, control C, and then go back here and paste in that. That's the source name. Then we have the output folder, dash O, and the output folder, we have here, it's empty right now. We can take that path by going home, copy path. So then we have here, and there is this uh, catalog that I mentioned, but I don't want that. So we are actually using only, sorry, <laughs> three arguments here. So let's run this and it should create our file. If it scroll, 100%, it's done. Excellent. So if we now go in the file explorer and output, we actually have an in uh, Intune Win file. And let's look what's in this and definitely not something you should do. It's just for this demo to see. So I have installed the um, 7-zip. It's a free software. And if I right click, I can extract. So let's extract this to a folder and let's see what's in there. So if we go into the folder, we have another one called Intune Win package. And in there we have two uh, folders, one with contents where we will find another Intune uh, Win file where all the files are. You can see by size it takes 99.9% uh, of everything. But if we go in under metadata, we have an XML file that's interesting. It's more interesting when you specify um, the, so the script as an MSI. If we had, the, now we I put the um, CMD. If it was an MSI, we would get more information. But let's see what the, this one brings up. I will open it in Notepad++ here. So here we don't get so much interesting data due to it not being an MSI file. We, we get the name of the installer and this is the name we're gonna see in um, uh, Intune portal later as well. We can see that it's uh, encrypted, but not, not that much uh, interesting information. We'll close this one. And for cleanup, I'm gonna delete uh, the extracted file, shift delete. So we have this file, which is ready to be uploaded to um, Microsoft Intune.
well done.